We're down south today in the Judean Desert at the En Gedi Nature Reserve. Here's Boruch, a tour guide. Let's go inside. Here we are in one of the most beautiful nature reserves in the world. National Geographic lists En Gedi among the top 20 nature reserves in the world to visit. King David ran away to hide from King Saul 3,000 years ago. It's a hot day like today. He goes inside of one of the caves to hide and comes King Saul with all of his soldiers and he tells him, you find this David. So he goes inside to, hide, to get out of the hot sun in the same cave, the cave that David is hiding in and David comes to him and cuts off a piece of his robe and tells him, King Saul, you're my king. I don't want to be the king. I don't want any problems with you. And here they made their peace here in En Gedi in this very special place. Later on, a thousand years later, Herod is the king. And this is all of his royal estate here in Gedi. What do they grow here? They grow this famous parsimon, the incense that's burned in the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. It's all grown here in En Gedi. This special water is used to grow all of this. So all of the terraces that we see here are terraces that held at one time all of the, the trees that were responsible for the incense that was burned in the Holy Temple. All of this was grown here. So this was all green back then. It was an, an oasis. And you can see the ancient synagogue left from this time. The only place in the whole Judean desert where fresh water is running all year long, it's in Engedi. How does this happen? You have rain on the top of the mountain between Jerusalem and Hebron. Some of the water rolls down to the Mediterranean Sea and some of the water rolls down to the Dead Sea. But a lot of the water trickles through the rocks, through the stones, until it reaches a layer of stone that it can't penetrate. And from there it goes out. And here is the place, and Engedi is the place where all of this water that rained three, four hundred years ago, this rainwater comes out into the desert. And here we have life. In the desert you can't live, you can't have any life without water. So this is the place where we have life in the middle of the desert. This is an oasis, and Gedi the true oasis. There are four springs here. We saw David's spring and Shulamit spring. Just above us is Engedi spring. And the next canyon over, it's Arogot spring. All four springs have about three and a half million cubic meters of water a year.